Okay, so we're still here in Halifax Bay. It's early morning. We just got up about six o'clock, just before. And we just been up cleaning and getting things ready, putting stuff away, and getting ready for something new today. The spinnaker's out. We're gonna be test flying our Spirit of the Lady spinnaker. She hasn't been out of the bag since, I think last October, maybe even longer. Natasha's just bringing up the snubber, or brought in the snubber already, now just bringing up the anchor. And we are about to say goodbye to Halifax Bay. But today we are getting ready for our sail to carry coop. So that sail will probably be five, six hours, so it's about eight o'clock now, we've got everything ready. Expect to be there by early to mid-afternoon at the latest. It feels so calm, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought it was going to feel crazy. Ain't she cute? Our spirit of the lady. Back in action. Okay, the spirit of the lady is flying. And we're having a nice sail. What's wrong? And we're healed over a little more than we expected, but she's holding well, nice and steady and smooth seas. And you can see, we're actually getting more wind than we need. We're actually getting 20 knots at 70 degrees. So we're actually flying the wind forward of the beam. And over here, we're getting 5.9, almost six knots. Yeah, six knots. So we're getting six knots of boat speed and nice airs and nice seas and over here you can see the set of the lady beautiful our favorite sail flies again very cool Thank you. 
Lost camera? Lost capital. Lost capital. Where is capital? <laughs> Just sitting here having a cold beer with the lady. Now you have the other lady. Me and the lady. <laughs> and a nice cold beer. Yeah, this is awesome. Beautiful sailing. Oh my god, what a beautiful day. This is sailing, guys. These are the days we all wait for. The days we all love. Just out on the water. Just us. The wind, the sun, and the sea. And one catamaran. <laughs> yeah. I hope this catamaran going port side. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to put out a big shout out for Doyle Sales and all the guys at Doyle Offshore down in Barbados and BVI's over and above. <laughs> the Call of Duty getting all the sail work put together for us and painting the lady on our spinnaker, that was awesome. Very cool. And also to ATN, the guy that makes the, the spinnaker socks. Without that, it'd be really hard for us to run shorthanded with just Sasha and I or anybody like that, but... Uh, it works really, really well. And we're gonna bring it down here in a few minutes, so we'll give you a show on how we brax, how we snub, like snuff the, the spinnaker. But we're gonna start putting it away soon. We'll bring out the jib and point our way back up north towards Kariku. Yep. Kariku, here we come. My favorite beach. Paradise Beach. Just enjoying our spinnaker run still, actually, because the wind just shifted and gave us about a 30 degree lift towards Kariku. So we may not have to dump the spinnaker, except right now we have this coming our way. That's a whole ridge of moisture, squall line. You can see it's dumping rain right there. Pretty thick over there. That's a really thick line of towering cumulus that are rising fast. Just keep an eye on that line right there because that's the one that's headed our way. This one will probably miss because he's going to head after us. I think we've already escaped that one. As you can see, we are heading for Kariku right off the bow. But it becomes very important to follow our weather when you're flying that much sail area. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's heading downwind, so this one I think we've already missed, but it's the one up there. We might still catch, you know, the leading edge of it in a gust. And we don't want any gusts with the spinnaker up. I don't want to lose the spinnaker over a stupid gust. <laughs> well, we'll see. we still got time. We've got a beautiful blue sky above and ahead. Just this little mini monster brewing over here. That's called a spinnaker buster. <laughs> yeah, I believe Sasha's already getting ready with the bag. Bag ready? Okay, so I'll go back and head us off the wind. See, our sun is still disappearing. So that's our first clue that the little squall line is actually coming over us instead of past us. So, better to be safe than spinnakerless. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I just blew the tack, so it's flying loose now. So I'm gonna let the yoke downhaul loose. As Sasha brings down the snub, the sock. Got it, okay. And here it comes. Good job, ladies. 
Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Sophisticated ladies rule. Well, as you can see, it filled in just ahead of us. So we're definitely going to get wet. And we had quite a wind shift actually. It's actually shifted right around the beam again and allowed us to come up another 30 degrees. So we're pointed right at our course, which is nice. So it's given us a favorable wind shift, which is always a plus. But now we just wait to get wet. It's coming. You can see there's the leading edge of it there. It's already passed over us. It's quite a few miles long. But we had a wind shift and now we're just getting a little bit of rain, but nothing too major. But we're definitely gonna get more rain. You can almost, yeah, it's coming. You can see it on the water now, look. Time to get wet. Wind shifting back around the bow. And we're heading straight on course, only doing about four knots. And the sun has returned and beautiful sailing weather come back. Almost. It's on the nose, so that's why we're motoring because it's pretty much dead. We've got, what, seven, eight knots of wind straight on the nose and we're doing five knots, so that means virtually no wind. But as you can see, things have improved. And that's just outside of Terrell Bay right there in Kariku. But it looks like it should be a nice night. It's supposed to be very calm. The one front just went over us to the north and that's going to leave very calm weather for the next couple of days. But for the meantime, we've got a week of sailing ahead of us and some new stuff. So, looking forward to it. Finally, on the move. I just put it all in so it's the three points are at the top and then just close the bag. Okay, had to make the decision. We are pulling the spinnaker down, because as you can see, we can't see the power and cumulus anymore. The lower level's moving in fast. This is the tack, and if you get into problems, you want to blow the tack, not the sheet. 
the sheet will just come out and it'll collect even more wind and become more powerful.